Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. Well, the rest of our Monday across Connecticut is looking pretty nice weather-wise. The humidity will be decreasing. We'll also see a decrease in cloud cover, but temperatures, they're going to be seasonably warm, topping out between 75 and 80 here in the noon hour, very near 75, uh, up and down the 91 quarter, also along the Connecticut shoreline there along I-95. We've got some upper 60s coming in from the Litchfield Hills, 72 Putnam, 75 Hartford, 75 also currently in New Haven. But the humidity again is going to be dropping as drier air filters into the state behind a cold front out of the uh, northwest. The wind continues to uh, filter that drier air into Connecticut. That wind at times gusting to over 20 miles an hour. Dew point values currently in the low and mid 50s. These numbers go even lower, and that's going to set the stage for a pretty chilly start to our Tuesday. We'll have more on that in just a moment. Even by, say, 6 o'clock this evening, those values again into the mid and upper 40s uh, for many locations. So the air continues to dry out. That's going to help to erode the cloud cover. There's our ICANN view from Hartford with 75 and that northerly wind around 14 miles an hour in our capital city. A uh, bit of a smoky, hazy, a view to our eye cam view here uh, from New Haven as well as from Southeast Connecticut with our view from New London. So the front that moved through uh, is now offshore taking with it um, any muggy air and as well suppressing a uh, warmer weather to our south. You can see to our north uh, not only some drier air but also cooler air heading in our direction. So tomorrow will be much cooler than today. Again the muggier air uh, is going to be down uh, suppressed to our southwest right now even in the nation's capital we've got a dew point of 60. So as we check out future cast looking at tomorrow's weather today again we should see an increasing amount of sunshine through the rest of this afternoon then mainly clear tonight and while the winds are up currently they'll decrease a bit but still a light wind overnight and then throughout the day tomorrow for our Tuesday as high pressure builds in basically looking at cloud free conditions should be absolutely gorgeous uh, but cooler for our Tuesday with regard to the tropics there is a lot happening we've got Sally Paulette Renee Teddy and then our 20th name storm now as of the 11 o'clock hour we have tropical storm Vicky uh, this storm is no threat to land. It uh, is forecast to be fairly short lived as it makes its way toward the west over the open waters of the uh, of the Atlantic. So currently sustained winds are at 45 miles an hour. A little bit closer to home we have Paulette that has uh, wreaked havoc on Bermuda and is now lifting to the north from that island and is eventually going to turn to the northeast and even move away from the east coast clearly. But currently a category two storm could strengthen to a category three as we head through the next day or two. And then over the Gulf of Mexico, of course, making major headlines in this caravan mentioned earlier, we've got Sally uh, forecast to become uh, making its way. It's, it is a hurricane now is forecast to make its way uh, toward New, uh, New Orleans. So affecting the southeastern Louisiana uh, Gulf uh, as well the coast there as well as uh, Mississippi and Alabama uh, wreaking havoc on, on those states with the very heavy rain, um, life threatening storm surge and as well the gusty damaging winds. So in the meantime, back here in Connecticut again, the winds going to be diminishing tonight, still up a bit with temps dropping to the low and mid 40s inland close to 50 to start our Tuesday day tomorrow and then on our seven day forecast highs tomorrow and may not make it above the 70 degree mark but then we're back in the mid 70s on Wednesday Thursday we'll see an increase in cloud cover late in the day temps get close to 80 so briefly cool tomorrow ramping back above average by Thursday then a cold front moves through some of the remnant moisture from Sally could interact with that boundary by early Friday morning so our only real ch uh, chance for rain over the next seven days is coming Thursday night into Friday we'll keep you updated on that but meanwhile turning cooler but dry for the upcoming week and morning low temperatures in the 40s after and highs only in the 60s. There's like a shoreline high. This is warm as 78 for Thursday, but again, back into the 60s for Saturday and Sunday.